Russia and America both wanted to nuke the moon during the Cold War. In 1957, the Soviet Union launched Sputnik, the first artificial satellite into low Earth orbit. It was the beginning of the space race, and America was losing. The decades that followed were marked by Cold War paranoia, technological innovation, and bizarre military strategies. Both the East and West wanted to prove their superpower status, and being the first to the moon was the ultimate prize. In the early days of the space race, both countries thought the best way to prove they had been to the moon was to nuke it. Today it seems ridiculous that anyone would try to nuke the moon, but the political and cultural tensions of the 1950s made desperate plans seem sensible. In 1958, the Armour Research Foundation, the precursor to the Illinois Institute of Technology, developed a plan with guidance from the Air Force. Designated Project A-119, or a study of lunar research flights, the ARF's inquiry looked into the possible effects of a nuclear detonation on the lunar surface between 1949 and 1962. Partly, the studies were a response to growing concern over atmospheric effects of nuclear testing, but not merely. You can imagine that a lot of people would be scared for dangerous situations or being harmed. Speaking of being injured, have you ever felt like dealing with injury claims is like being lost in a nebula of paperwork and frustration? Fear not, for Morgan & Morgan has harnessed the power of the cosmos to revolutionize the entire process, bringing ease and simplicity right to your fingertips. Morgan & Morgan's 21st century law firm has launched a new era in injury law. With just eight clicks or less, you can submit an injury claim and have a lawyer review your case from the comfort of your own personal space station. Well, your home. No need to traverse the universe in search of lawyers or be buried under a meteor shower of paperwork. Their modern approach means you can access case details, sign contracts, and upload documents and medical records all from your interstellar communication device. Stay connected with your attorney and legal team via text as you embark on your legal journey through the stars. Picture this, you're involved in a terrestrial car accident. Your mission priorities are 1. Ensure your well-being. 2. Secure a police report. 3. Contact your insurance. And 4. Obtain legal representation. With Morgan & Morgan, initiating a claim is as easy as piloting a spaceship in zero gravity. So, when you find yourself injured in an accident, remember that Morgan & Morgan is here to help you navigate through the legal cosmos with ease. Injured and don't know where to start? With Morgan & Morgan, it's so easy. If you're ever injured in an accident, you can check out Morgan & Morgan. You can submit a claim in eight clicks or less without ever having to leave your couch. For more information, go to ForThePeople.com or dial pound law. That's hash 529 from your cell phone. Stay safe and may the force of Morgan & Morgan be with you on your legal adventures. Now, let's move on with the video. I was told the Air Force was very interested in the possibility of a surprise demonstration explosion, with all its obvious implications for public relations and the Cold War, Leonard Rifle, the director of the project, wrote in Nature. It was clear the main aim of the proposed detonation was a PR exercise and a show of one-upmanship. The Air Force wanted a mushroom cloud so large it would be visible on Earth, Rifle told the observer. The U.S. was lagging behind in the space race. Today, we talk about Russian and American plans to nuke the moon. What happened, and how did it come so far? Let's jump right into the story. Like and subscribe to our channel. Join our community of space explorers. The explosion would also provide scientists and the military with a lot of information about the effectiveness of nuclear weapons in space. In a declassified report about the project written by Rifle in 1959, he claimed that certain military objectives would be served since information would be supplied concerning the environment of space, concerning detection of nuclear device testing in space, and concerning the capability of nuclear weapons for space warfare. A lot of those Cold War plans are still classified, including A-119, and the reason we know about it is because of Carl Sagan. In 1959, Sagan was a young grad student with his sights set on the University of California, Berkeley. As part of his application for a scholarship to UC's Miller Institute, Sagan divulged some of the work he had done for the ARF. 
including reports he'd written titled, Possible Contribution of Lunar Nuclear Weapons Detonations to the Solution of Some Problems in Planetary Astronomy and Radiological Contamination of the Moon by Nuclear Weapons Detonations. The revelation that the popular cosmologist and science writer was willing to brag about his work on classified projects to help him get a scholarship caused a minor stir when it was discovered by biographers after his death in 1996. The Pentagon has yet to comment on the old Cold War moon nuking plans, and many of the reports written at the time have since been destroyed. The project, thankfully, never got off the ground, and America decided that putting a man on the moon was better than blowing it up. Project A-119 Project A-119 was the codename for a secret United States Air Force plan to detonate a nuclear bomb on the moon. The aim of the project was to research the effects of nuclear explosions in space and the potential use of nuclear weapons in space warfare. The project was developed by the Armor Research Foundation, a precursor to the Illinois Institute of Technology, in 1958 with guidance from the United States Air Force. The plan called for the detonation of a nuclear bomb on the moon's surface. As the plans to nuke the moon were kept secret for many years, they did not have a significant impact on public opinion at the time. However, as details of the project were later revealed, many people were shocked and outraged by the idea that the United States and Soviet Union had considered such an extreme measure. The plans to nuke the moon also had a significant impact on the scientific community, both in the United States and around the world. Many scientists were deeply concerned about the potential environmental impact of the explosion and spoke out against the plans. Others were more supportive, arguing that the project could yield important insights into the nature of the moon and the universe. The potential environmental impact of the plans was a major concern for many scientists. In addition to the release of radioactive materials into space, there were concerns that the explosion could disrupt the moon's delicate gravitational balance and even cause it to break apart. Scientists were also worried about the potential impact of the explosion on future space exploration and scientific research. Despite these concerns, some scientists argued that the data collected from nuclear testing could yield important insights into the nature of the universe. In particular, the explosion on the moon could provide information about the moon's structure composition, and formation. This data could be used to better understand the origins of the solar system and the processes that shape the universe. The legacy of the plans to nuke the moon extends beyond the scientific community. The plans serve as a cautionary tale about the dangers of unchecked nationalism, propaganda, and the pursuit of power. The space race was driven in large part by the desire to assert dominance and gain a public relations advantage in the Cold War. The plans to nuke the moon were just one example of the extreme measures that countries were willing to consider in order to gain an edge in this competition. Today, space exploration is often characterized by international cooperation. Nations around the world work together to advance scientific knowledge and promote peace and diplomacy. The space race, with its intense competition and Cold War tensions, seems like a relic of the past. However, the legacy of this era continues to be felt today. The Cold War arms race led to the proliferation of nuclear weapons around the world, and the threat of nuclear conflict remains a major concern. The space race also had a profound impact on popular culture, influencing everything from music and film to fashion and advertising. The legacy of the space race can be seen in the continued fascination with space exploration and the human desire to explore the unknown. The plans to nuke the moon may seem like a bizarre and misguided idea today, but they serve as a reminder of the complex political and cultural factors that shape the space race. They also highlight the importance of international cooperation in space exploration and the ongoing need for transparency and accountability in government decision-making. As we look to the future of space exploration, it is important to learn from the mistakes and successes of the past. The legacy of the space race is one of human achievement and innovation, but it is also a reminder of the dangers of unchecked nationalism and the pursuit of power at all costs. As a viewer, you may wonder what you can do to promote international cooperation and responsible scientific research. 
you can support organizations that promote science education and advocate for open and transparent government decision making. You can also stay informed about developments in space exploration and the potential environmental and ethical implications of new technologies. The plans to nuke the moon were a shocking and extreme measure that highlights the complex political and cultural factors that shaped the space race. While the project was ultimately abandoned, it had a significant impact on the scientific community and serves as a cautionary tale about the dangers of unchecked nationalism and propaganda. As we look to the future of space exploration, it is important to learn from the mistakes and successes of the past and promote international cooperation. The revelation of the plans to nuke the moon caused a stir in both the scientific and political communities. Some scientists were outraged at the potential environmental impact and ethical concerns raised by the project, while others saw it as an opportunity to gain valuable information about the nature of the universe and the capabilities of nuclear weapons in space. Despite the mixed reactions, the project ultimately never got off the ground. The United States decided that putting a man on the moon was a better use of resources and a more effective way to demonstrate American power and technological prowess. However, the legacy of the plans to nuke the moon continues to be felt today. The ethical and environmental concerns raised by the project still resonate, particularly in light of ongoing debates over nuclear testing and the proliferation of nuclear weapons around the world. Additionally, the plans to nuke the moon serve as a cautionary tale about the dangers of nationalism, propaganda, and the pursuit of power. As tensions continue to simmer between countries around the world, it is important to remember the lessons of the Cold War and the importance of diplomacy, cooperation, and transparency in global affairs. The space race, which was at the heart of the plans to nuke the moon, was a pivotal moment in human history. It not only led to significant advances in science and technology, but also influenced culture, education, and international relations. The legacy of the space race can be seen in everything from the popularization of science fiction to the development of cutting-edge medical technologies. Today, the focus of space exploration has shifted from competition to collaboration. International cooperation is now considered essential to advancing scientific knowledge and promoting peace and diplomacy. From the International Space Station to joint missions to Mars, Countries around the world are working together to push the boundaries of human knowledge and understanding. In the end, the plans to nuke the moon may seem like a bizarre and outlandish footnote in the history of the space race, but they serve as a reminder of the complex political and cultural factors that shaped this pivotal moment in human history. As we continue to explore the cosmos and push the boundaries of science and technology, it is important to remember the lessons of the past and work towards a brighter future for all. In conclusion, the plans to nuke the moon were a reflection of the intense competition and paranoia of the Cold War. The fact that both the United States and the Soviet Union were seriously considering detonating a nuclear weapon on the lunar surface speaks to the lengths to which these superpowers were willing to go to demonstrate their technological and military superiority. However, the cancellation of these plans also reflects a turning point in human history, where we realize the immense destructive power of nuclear weapons and the need to focus on peaceful exploration and cooperation in space. As we continue to explore the final frontier, it is important to remember the lessons of the Cold War and strive for international cooperation and peaceful diplomacy. Let us work towards a future where space exploration serves as a source of inspiration and wonder rather than a platform for political and military posturing. Thank you for watching this video, and we hope you found it informative and thought-provoking. If you enjoyed this content, please consider liking and subscribing to our channel for more fascinating stories and insights. And don't forget to click on the video on your screen to watch our next episode.